Hey, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to mount tires onto beadlock rims. Uh, what I consider the easy way. Hey there, welcome back to another short video, video short, short thing. And uh, in this one, I'm gonna try and show you how to mount beadlock. I've seen a lot of different YouTubers or techs or videos and uh, using all different kinds of products. Um, and for me, the secret sauce is just Dawn dish soap. Not diluted dish soap, not WD-40, not any of these other things, just dish soap. So I'm gonna apply some to a tire mount it on that rim and show you how to do it with just your own weight. Now remember, you're saving, you know, $20 a tire by mounting these yourself. So don't get stingy with the uh, soap. Put a nice liberal coating on there. Make sure you especially get it on that edge because that's that edge is what's gonna be rubbing up against the rim. So once you got it good and greased up, that a little bit extra on there. Then you just drop it over there and bounce on it till it goes on. Kind of work it around at each side. Use that knee method. You can get real stuck. Put a little bit more in there. Right where it's catching. Bounce some more. Ugh. Work it side to side if you can. Violet. Voila. Voila. There you go. It's always good to wipe up your excess, eh? And that's how I do it. All right, so once you've got the tire on the rim, the next step is just nuts and bolts. So you're gonna take your beadlock ring, you're gonna pinch it over top of the this side of the tire's bead, and you're just gonna start a few of the bolts. So you're gonna wanna tighten that beadlock ring just like you would tighten a tire, so in a star pattern. So bam, 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 bam. Just keep working it around, putting more bolts in, just a little bit at a time. So what you're really trying to get is this gap right here to be completely closed all the way around. And you can do your torque specs after that, whatever it's got uh, you set at. So once you've got your beadlock ring all set, you can then just put some air in the tire and it will, this bead is obviously set since you have tightened your ring around it. It's the back bead that will be loose. And once you begin to air it up, it'll just slide over and jump out. If you're wondering what size tires and what wheels these are, for reference, uh, this is a 39 inch, uh, 13 and a half, 17, BF Goodrich, Mud Terrain, KM3s. The wheels are from KMC. They're the XD222. I think they're a discontinued wheel. They never came in this bronze finish. They were all uh, an aluminum finish. Uh, I just painted them 
the middle of the wheel bronze because that's somewhat on trend right now and I think it'll look kind of good on my Jeep. So, um, and I painted the rings black and purchased some grade eight hardware off of Amazon. So, um, hopefully it looks pretty cool on the Jeep. Um, it's going to be a pretty big upgrade. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. Just a small upgrade, slightly. It appears I have a problem with a little human. So I apologize if the quality is not good on this one. I got to, you know, be a dad. What's wrong, buddy? You all right, dude? Daddy, baby, bite my tongue. Delia made you bite your tongue? No, wasn't he? Oh, your big sister. <laughs> you okay? No, it hurts. It hurts? You want to ride on a big tire? Yeah. You want to sit in a big tall chair? Yeah. Be as tall as me? Yeah. All right, you sit here. And I'll sit right here. All right, crisis averted. We're back in good shape, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think that's it for the beadlock video today. Next week, oh, let's see. Next week, I'm going to visit family in Tennessee. We're taking this guy. I converted the AC over to 134A and charged it the other day. And I think we're pretty much ready for another road trip down to Tennessee, but we do need some upgrades. And really it's not even upgrades, it's things that I've already kind of gone backwards on that I want to go forward on. The original running boards are standing there in the corner and I took them off and the rear spoiler. I don't know, because I wanted it to look a little bit cooler. And I've kind of changed my mind on that. I kind of want to go with the whole quirky sheath look. And, um, and, and put those back on. Plus they're pretty functional for the little guy to get in, right dude? Mm -hmm. Does that running board help you get in? Yep. Yep. So we're gonna throw those back on, I think. And uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll claim it's for safety and uh, that these tires are, you know, five or six years old and, and we need to upgrade. But since we're upgrading, we might as well step up in size, I think, so. So yeah. Next week, we'll see if we can, uh... <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Throwing chairs around, buddy? Anyways, if you like the video, like the video. And I'll see if I can get anything done with my little munchkins around. All right, y'all. Yep, put down the gas can. That's, that's trouble. Never ends. See ya! So if you like the video, like the video. If you want to, share and subscribe. Hope you all have a good one. Bye. Well, there's your problem.